Floating Points live on KEXP. Man, that sounded so great. Uh, Floating Points was started by Sam Shepard, who is here with the band. Hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, hey. Um, would you like to introduce the, the band? band. Yeah. The band is Leo Taylor on drums. Yeah. Hello, Leo. <laughs> uh, Kirkus on guitar. Susumu Makai on bass. Alex Reeve on guitar. And Jim also on percussion and electronics as well. Man, well, uh, thanks you all. thank you all for coming. The, the, the sounded great. And uh, that song is Silhouettes. is from the new album, Elenia. Mm. And uh, it's your debut full length, yep. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you how the, um, kind of the history of, of Floating Points. So uh, you started out actually going way back as a classical uh, composer? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I had like a sort of a more classical upbringing, like listening to classical music mostly. Yeah. I was in a choir in Manchester Cathedral uh, in, in the north, oh, wow. north of England. And um, I sort of studied piano um, kind of classically, and I've progressively gotten worse at playing. <laughs> and uh, I sort of got more heavily into jazz. And um, yeah, and yeah I'm, uh, now I'm surrounded by uh, knobs. <laughs> so, yeah. and it's it, like, so, it sounds incredible. And I want to mention the visual <laughs> element. Um, <laughs> there's a... There's actually a floating points behind you, <laughs> um, which I assume will be at Numos tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, floating points playing at Numos tonight, and um, uh, I first became aware of floating points when you were putting out some singles, uh, yeah. probably six years ago, I think. Okay, um, yeah. The J and W beat, K and W beat single, um, and that was more laptop composers, right. right? Yeah, I mean, when I moved, I moved to London to go to university. Okay, and. Um, I had a lot of friends in Manchester I used to play with. Um, when I went to the university, I, I didn't have a band anymore. I didn't have like people to sort of to play music with. So I, I got really into just making music on my laptop, and, and that's what I had. And so sure. um, I made uh, yeah all this electronic music. And you were is, DJing out as well at the time. Um, and at the time, we started a, a sort of club night in London for a, a charity uh, called Macmillan Cancer Support, and um, it was like a sort of Friend, bunch of friends that sort of ran this club night, I see. and uh, we raised money for this charity, and, and I was DJing at it, sort of not really out of wanting to do it, but out <laughs> of kind of, I had records and sure. uh, I'd collected records, so I played it this night, and then it kind of tumbled into me doing some bar things, and eventually Plastic People, which is a club that was in London until right. last January, okay, um, which was it's really important for sort of actually the, the music scene of it extends so far. Like dubstep was sort of incubated in this room, and uh, wow. and a lot of um, DJs, Theo Parrish, that were very influential on uh, my um, the contextualization of, of music in a club environment. So you'd go there and you'd hear records that you wouldn't have thought it belonged in a, in a club. Sure, and people are you know going crazy to a Pharaoh Sanders record, and right, and yeah. so that's that was like a you know an ear opening experience. For Sounds me. like an incredible place. It was amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you were going to school at the same time. Uh, what were you studying? I was studying, um, studying neuroscience at the time, and um, wow, and, yeah, and, then and you got your so. PhD. And how, it, would you make any? Is there any connection between um, your studies and <laughs> and the music? Mm, turning I, on and off DNA sequences, or <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I don't know. I think just turning off DNA sequences <laughs> okay. in my case. Yeah. I, I'm not even sure what that means, but <laughs> no, um, <not> <laughs> anymore. Um, so uh, so the music became uh, gradually. Less and less, maybe house dance, and more into uh, maybe jazz oriented, or were um, you doing both? I don't know what what it is that yeah. I'm making now. I mean, obviously, the sort of remnants of my electronic making uh, world still exist. Uh, I mean, I th I always feel like that music. I don't. I mean, I'm just making the music that I. I've, I never yeah. thought I was making dance music originally. Sure. sure. I was just making music that I had the resources to make, and now um, I've got like a studio in London. Uh, live room like this and I can record a band and obviously I, I think I wanted to do that back then it's just I didn't have the resources I was just using whatever was available so now I see uh, yeah I, I still use what's available and yeah what's available is these amazing guys so. that's no yeah. no absolutely and I wanted to ask you about the Studer A80 um, uh, oh uh, yeah, that, yeah. That, um, that was a, a big uh, tape machine that okay. um I found like very cheap on like uh, Craigslist, and I heard it. I heard it didn't really fit in your place. It wouldn't actually go through my front door. So, I, <laughs> and I live in a really busy street in like central London. Yeah. I was just sitting there, and uh, hadn't like wow. just covered it, and then found a stu like a small studio for temporarily okay. with a door frame that was eighty centimeters, so I could get it <laughs> get it in there. Wow. Um, 
and that's kind of how I started to to get a studio together. Got kind of, it. Yeah. And how did the band come together? Um, I've known these guys through various. Uh, so how did it happen? So <laughs> Leo was uh, was working with with him on um, a project he's got called The Invisible. Okay. Uh, we've got an album coming out later later this year. Um, Kirkus is from Melbourne um, and is uh, has his own project called Kirkus as well. And Great. Sumu, his bass player, who actually I kind of uh, had a project called Z- Zongamin uh, and um, plays with other bands in London. And I actually kind of bumped into him and was like, I've got this thing going. And do you yeah. fancy playing bass on it? Um, uh, Alex, I've known for years, playing uh, in various bands. His band's Hijira, which is a beautiful band. Oh, okay. I've, I've put on another label I've got called Eglo. And uh, Jim is the latest kind of uh, addition who's going to kind of take over drums eventually on this tour. And uh, and uh, we met in New York a few months ago. So yeah, Well, you guys sound great. And uh, the new album um, is called Elania. It's the debut full length from Floating Points. Uh, we're so excited to have you here and playing tonight at Numo's. I wanted to ask you one more thing. Um, I heard you have a huge record collection that you've been uh, accumulating records for years. Yeah. Um, about 10,000 records? Is that what I read? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of, I, it's hard to count, but like yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's thereabouts, yeah. Because our vinyl library here is about somewhere in that ballpark, I believe. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I'm, okay, I'm really it. amazed that okay. you have that. Well, record. I mean, it's lots of 45s as well. So it's, sure. Um, yeah. Have you ever had to move? With them. Uh, I can't move. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Yeah, and then when I when I do, I don't think anyone will be happy to help me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, floating points live at KXP playing tonight at Numos. Very happy to have you here. Uh, you got a couple more for us. Uh, I think this next one is part of our inside the yeah. music of KXP we, interactive yeah, installation. Try and play it um, because it's in the installation here. Yeah. Um, come come down. Uh, it, it closes on Sunday, May eighth. So uh, yeah, I just went to see it, and it's. Uh, nice to hear it come alive in a 3d space it's It's very cool all right floating points live on kexp here we go
Floating Points live on KEXP. Man, that sounded incredible. That's a brand new song, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've been playing that one out a bit. We just recorded it. It's going to come out, I think, July 22nd. In July. Man, well, sounded great. Uh, it's called... Uh, Kuiper. Kuiper. Yeah, I've okay. learned it's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> well, it sounds great. Um, Floating Points live on KEXP and playing tonight at Numos. Man, you'll be totally transported. I highly recommend heading down to that show tonight. Um, was that some sort of uh, elaborate uh, neuroscience experiment? Um, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sounded incredible. Um, I, f- I felt neurons firing. Okay, it's the most successful experiment I've ever done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you still doing science, by the way? Or? Uh, no, okay. not really. I mean, I, I, I keep reading. Yeah, well, um, the music you're making is incredible. And uh, come down to Numos tonight, playing up at Van- in Vancouver tomorrow at the uh, Celebrities Nightclub. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Um, I wanted to ask you one more question. You work with Caribou and Fortet as well? They're very good friends of mine, yeah. Oh, cool. And so I probably hang out with them more than work with them, but sure. we DJ a lot together and uh, we eat a lot together. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm going to go out with a car- Caribou song here in a minute, uh, but I want to thank Jim and Justin and Alia and Scott and Matt and uh, Matthew, Kevin Suggs, Jen and Elaine. Thank you so much. You're listening to 90.3 FM KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.